Hey YouTube, you know, I want to talk to you about the three top deities that in my books that I know that a lot of people kind of really, you know, kind of really don't want to really talk about it due to the fact that you know one's God and one is Satan the other one is Lilith um well one 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 of the things that I think of is that um my my topic is that I I believe in God 100% you know he's helped me out through a lot of ways um got me out of bad situations and you know guided me into the right path on where i need to be at in life i do know that um but to really you know look for another source of answers someone else to guide you even more me it's like you know, do you really believe, you know, do you believe there is, another deity, besides God himself, yes there is, but I came across this woman named Lilith, which, She was the first mother of everything, which, you know, which she sees through all, all things in that, you know, what is not right, you know, you know, what is, you know, she, she makes you look at it, uh, you know, things differently, and, and she makes you see right through the bullshit. And especially on other people. And to me, that's how she's doing me. You know, she lets me know and say, hey, you know, they're bullshitting you. They're bullshitting you. And she tells me, you know, watch out for people like that. And, and she's, well, when I first called up on her, I called up on her, and, which, you know, I didn't know really what to think. She come to me in my dreams, really, and she come to me in my dreams, and she became the woman I want her to be. In my dreams. And. Which. Was very. Odd at first. Because. I remember like. A tower. I remember going into like. Um. This walkway. Toward a tower. Um, up the stairway, a big stairway, and a voice was just calling me, kept calling me, and it was a woman's voice. Well, I kept walking. I kept walking in my dream. I kept, you know, hearing this voice in my dream in, in the towers. Um, and then... I went into this room. And there's this, I mean, beautiful blonde woman laying on the bed in my dream. And she said, everything's going to be all right. 
you are tougher than what you think. And that's what she told me. And, which I had that dream again last night. And, sometimes I can feel her presence around me. And, which is very, very good in a way because it, it's made, it made me open up my eyes even more. When, it's kind of hard to explain really. It's kind of hard to explain because uh, she, you can feel her around you. You can hear her calling you. You know, you can hear her, you know, coming to you in your dreams. You know, basically, 9 out of 10, she's usually coming to you in the dreams of the woman that you have a crush on or the woman you have fantasies about. Um, usually, she does that. But, to me, it's a, to me, it's more of like a lust fantasy of the woman you want. But the thing of it is, is that, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain when I went down this path on Lilith. I mean, I kept looking at, looking, you know, looking up information about her, what she's about. Um, some say she's like the mother of vampires. Um, like she was like the first vampire that ever walked the earth. Um, but I really don't know how on how she can, you know. Like basically. I know she can't really turn you into a vampire, but she can use, you know, use her powers, you know, to make you do things that you normally don't do. And I do know that. I mean, I've experienced it several times. Um, especially in my, especially in, um, some of my ex conditioning levels on on off the camera that I do on the side. Um, she's helped me out, um, you know, go further and beyond in my conditioning, and because she's seen that that's what I like to do, and she knows I want to promote health and well being. And so she's trying to guide me on that path in which that's my true calling to her because, you know, I want to be healthy. I want to, you know, be able to have the strength, you know, to carry on, you know, with the thought process of um, some unique knowledge. But when it comes to, you know, Belief wise, I, you know, I believe in God 100%. God is my true, true belief. But you can always go to other sources to find out what is right for you. But, I mean, I have two people that I look, I look, I look at. You know, as deities, as special deities in my life. You know, and the thing is, Lilith will accept on what who's your God? You know, she she will accept it. You know, if I believe in God, you know, I told her when I first met her, I believe in God. And but. I told her, I said, but I will follow you as well, you know, to guide me on the path on where I need to be at. As turning into a mature person. I'm already mature enough, but the thing is, I use her as 
a mother guidance. A mother guidance to guide me on new ways of thinking. Which, if that makes sense. And this is a topic that I really don't really like to get into because a lot of people say, oh, there's only one God. But yeah, they might be only, oh, there's only one God. Yes, there is. But there are different deities to go for, and which I choose both deities. You know, I believe in the Christian ways. You know, don't covenant and all that. Don't sin and all that. Well, the thing is, everybody sins. Everybody's not perfect. There's only one man that's perfect. Everybody makes bad choices in life. And that's the thing, you know. Am I dissing Christianity rules? No, I'm not. It's just that a lot of people, you know, say they're Christians, but they ain't. They ain't true Christians. Because, you know, if you're a true Christian, you wouldn't judge. If you're a true Christian, you wouldn't go out and sin. Or if you're a true Christian, you wouldn't go out and have an affair with another man. Or have an affair with another woman. Another man's property. Um, you wouldn't steal or whatever. You know, you wouldn't lie. You know, those are true knowledge. And you wouldn't kill. Those are the true knowledge of being a Christian. And that's the thing. And most people have a tendency to you know, say they're Christians, but really are they? Because everybody sins. And it's like, that's a whole topic of a different story on that. But it's just, I'm just telling you on my perspective, uh, perspective on what I look up to and what I'm about and what are my deities that who I look up to? I know God says I don't worship one God. I do worship him all the way. But I mean I do follow his rules, but the thing it is, you know, I look for Lilith as a mother guide because I caught up on her a while back and um to get me in new ways of thinking and doing things and that's the thing and just be yourself you know that's all you gotta do that's what she wants you to do is pretty much be yourself and explore on who you really are and that's all she wants you to do and and the thing of it is you know they say Lilith is witchcraft well I don't really say she's Lilith uh, witchcraft Lilith is a goddess of love and war you know she's over love and war you know she can cause love and she can cause chaos that's the sign of Lilith that I believe in and really I use it for more of the love part um, love and strength and that's the thing you know that's my belief that's what I'm saying. You may think I'm crazy. I don't care. Um, it's just a topic I want to get out there. And subscribe to my channel. And hit the like. Hit subscribe. And hit the bell notification on all. And I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.